Or champagne, darling. <laughs> Transit. You're stealing shit already. <laughs> Souvenir. Good morning, everybody. We're leaving the old capital behind to go back to the new capital where new adventures await. Hello, Gone. Hey, I know you're hotel in Phnom Penh. Uh, Raffles. Oh, Raffles Hotel. Okay, let me go. We're now on our way to Phnom Penh. There are many different ways to get to Phnom Penh, from the most expensive, <laughs> which is probably this, to catching a tuk-tuk for the entire way. Oh, I could probably do the tuk-tuk too. <laughs> I'll leave all the costs down below, and you can make your own oh, pick. For a long distance. Probably this pick. Okay. There's even a fireplace. Unless you're taking a plane, it's still a five and a half to six hour journey back to Phnom Penh, no matter what class of travel. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank have you a nice so Thank you so much. So, would you want to come inside and have a sit? Welcome to Raffles. Yeah, another Raffles. I feel relaxed. Already. The Hotel the Royal opened to great fanfare in 1929, attended by the then King Sisovac Runibong, and represented a place of unprecedented elegance in Cambodia. The hotel quickly established a reputation for its luxurious accommodations and unsurpassable sense of customer service, attracting luminaries such as Charlie Chaplin. Somerset Maughan and former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. In 1996, the hotel gained a new lease of life under the Raffles brand, undergoing a full reconstruction and renovation, and again in 2016, ensuring it remains Phnom Penh's most prestigious hotel address. Mm. Room is this way? It's upstairs. We're in the historic building. It is since 1929. Oh, thank you very much. Our signature notice and a handwritten note from the chief general manager. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 So you will have a selection of drinks, Ooh. gin, snacks, nuts there. And on this side we have the mini bar, which should be fully stocked. Soft drinks, beers, chocolate, tea and things. Price ah. list. Oh, for the mini bar. It's more than a beef lock luck. <laughs> Must be the phone you use to ring room service. Mm -hmm. It really is. <laughs> wonderful king size bed that I don't want to mess up. I've never seen a bed so perfectly made in my life. And my wardrobe, which has got gowns and slippers to go to the pool. Toilet, cool tub, pretty nice size shower with lots of toiletries in there. Is that another telephone? No. Hello. <laughs> I'm working. Yeah. Set of amenities, body cream, nice. Everything you need. This is Berger. It's a yard. Front yard. Yes. It's a It's so nice, doesn't it? You lost my pen in transit. You're stealing shit already. No. <laughs> Souvenir. Must be time for a drink. Smash a little bit. We have a cafe lime. Yeah, yeah. We do the half of the cafe. Put some tonic inside. We'll stir a little bit. And you can enjoy. Thank you very much. Chumoy. Chumoy. That's nice. Can you press with me? Maybe. The hotel comes with its own shopping arcade, day spa, gymnasium and not one but two beautiful swimming pools. Afternoon sun. It's just a 
us and the beautiful people. Who's there? Ah, just us. It's like a big bath. More champagne, darling. <laughs> it's really warm, man. Don't come here to cool off. I think it'll look nicer in your hair. <laughs> Use <laughs> some Khmer flower moisturizing mist. Would you like some ylang ylang, darling? Ylang ylang? Yeah. I think I need some moisturizing mist. <sighs> I'm so moisturized. Chumoy, darling. No, I won't be doing it there, I promise. <laughs> no defecate. Keep your shit to yourself. We're going to the National Museum of Cambodia, which apparently I can't photograph in. We'll see how we go. Open every day? Open every day. Opened in 1920, the museum is housed in a beautiful traditional Khmer building with a stunning red exterior and lush garden surrounds. Inside, the museum boasts an extensive collection of over 14,000 artefacts, offering a comprehensive look at the development of the Khmer civilization. It's a beautiful spot. It's interesting that you can't take photographs inside unless you're from here. But I'm not a policeman. I'm not here to enforce the rules. Did you madam, you taking photographs? I'm allowed to outside. Who's that in the window? Sorry? Who's that in the window? Move up the window. Who? <laughs> Oh, it's good. I don't think it should be the National Museum of Cambodia. Maybe the Museum of Ancient Cambodia. Fascinating, nonetheless. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. After our visit to the National Museum, we're embarking on a serene sunset cruise along the Mekong River, organised through our hotel. We're picked up by a pre-arranged tuk-tuk for the ride down to the bustling riverfront. Good evening. We're going to go on the sunset river cruise. I'm really looking forward to this. Should be beautiful. It's Sunday in Phnom Penh, everybody heads to the river. It's a big day off. Yeah. The Mekong River, known as the Mother of Rivers, is the lifeblood of Cambodia, sustaining its communities and nurturing its landscapes. Would you swim in the Mekong? Maybe if I was drowning. Oh, yummy. It's nice. As we set sail, the bustling cityscapes of Phnom Penh gradually give way to the tranquil rhythms of the river. Along the riverbank we see a blend of modern developments alongside traditional houses, offering a glimpse into the diverse lifestyles that coexist along the Mekong. Freshly made with satay sauce. As we glide along we pass local fishermen casting their nets and children playing at the water's edge, capturing the essence of daily life on the river. Beautiful. The cruise offers a unique vantage point to witness the harmony between urban and rural Cambodia, all framed by the stunning backdrop of the Mekong sunset. How is the sunset cruise? Uh, in one word, spectacular. So, do it. <laughs> This peaceful journey is a beautiful reminder of the timeless connection between the Cambodian people and their river, making it a truly memorable experience. I just love the built-in air conditioning. It's fabulous. Tuk Tuk Air Con. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. Uh, you want to go to Edmund one place? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, this morning, we're doing a bit of a tour of the unpleasantness of Cambodia, which you can't avoid when you're here. I'll give you a brief overview of the violent history of Cambodia. Join us next time as we uncover Cambodia's recent past. This is not easy.
to discover the horrors of life under the Khmer Rouge. Been to some pretty evil places in my time. Part of me just wants them to burn it to the ground. You can't forget. You do that, you forget. And then it happens again. Mm. Join us.